welcome back everybody to another episode of Ride 2 here on this channel and in today's episode guys we're testing out two R1 Capri bikes that we haven't tested out yet on the game. I don't know why I haven't tested these out yet but I did get a message the other day saying KPG why haven't you tested out the BMW R1 Capri bike and I thought oh yeah I haven't yet so we're going to test it two of these R1 Capri bikes in today's episode. We're not going to do any setups guys because these are first experience races but we will do a rating of both bikes at the end of the video. Now we're going to do the normal thing where we race with no assist, no anti wheelie on the hardest level and we're going to see what sort of results we get and then I'll rate them at the end of the video. This is going to be awesome because I love this category of bikes so let's get straight into it and test out these bikes. First up, let's check out the stats of this awesome BMW. Uh, acceleration 9.8, braking power 9.7, top speed 9.9 .9, and handling 9.6. All round, very, very good. This is gonna be an awesome experience. I cannot wait for this. So let's get straight into the race and see if we can get a decent result. Right, so we're going to do the race on the BMW around this awesome French circuit. It's not one of my favourites on the game. I do struggle on it sometimes. And plus, we're racing on the default setup. So I'm hoping this one to be good because this can be challenging. But let's get straight into the race and hopefully have a good one. So let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with the first experience in today's episode, and we're on the BMW. Let's see if we can get a good start here. Keep that front wheel down. There's loads of power in this bike, and that's not a bad start. Get a good line into that first corner. Oh, got managed to get into there without any, making any contact. That's always good. Let's just try and take, oh God, taking a wider line. Didn't like the change of direction there, but we are on the default setup. But we're getting a good drive up the hill, and hold it, don't make contact, and slip past the other bikes. Oh God, a little bit of contact there, but that's okay. And we're up to P4, so that's not a bad start. But what's it gonna be like slowing down into the slow corner? Slam the brakes on, slow it down, slow it down. Ooh, really nice and tight nice and smooth right drive it out that corner and keep that front wheel down yeah not too bad that was actually pretty damn smooth very impressed so far right let's get a nice turn into here get a good drive let's see if we can get up the inside of this bike just in front of us and we managed to dive up inside of both of them oh my god that was a move and a half can we hold it though just try and keep that front wheel down and just pulled a massive power wheelie there but we've managed to control it but is that other bike going to get up the inside yes it is right that's the uh, oh god it's another bmw so i'm up against another bmw here let's just try and hold the speed through this turn and i've got an aprilia oh is that a honda or aprilia and it's maybe catch the corner slightly but uh, i didn't get an invalid lap so i got away with that one but uh, that uh, bike just behind us was niggling up my back wheel there and just uh, threw me out slightly right slow it down into this turn get nice and tight oh that was nice and smooth it's dropping into the corners really nicely actually right nice and smooth through there oh god a bit of wheel smoke there from the bike in front right drive it over the line let's see if we can get up the inside here try and hold the speed oh, God, a little bit of contact there as I dived into that corner, but I did knock the other bike off, but oh God, the suspension just bobbed up there slightly, and I hesitated, and that's cost me a little bit, but I've still managed to maintain the lead. Right, are we going to be able to slow it down into the slow corner without getting cracked off? It's happened to me so many times on this game guys even online i've been knocked off here so let's just try and get a nice turn get it nice and tight uh, before the other bikes get in oh that was perfect i'll oh, take that now open the throttle keep that front wheel down i've got the other bmw niggling at my back wheel let's just try and hold it is he gonna go up the inside here should we let it go nope he's not gonna dive down the outside there so we managed just to hold the speed through there and we're still maintaining the lead right get a nice turn into this corner oh god we got really wide there we could have braked a little bit better there but uh so far this bike doesn't feel too bad it's just knowing where i can sort of open the throttle and uh, just controlling the power um i mean the brakes feel pretty strong i'm just need i do need to brake a little bit more into some of these turns i am leaving it a little bit late right slow it down get a nice turn into there again not too bad nice and smooth and accelerate just slowly open the throttle not too much and we've managed to pull away slightly which is awesome so we're coming towards the end of the second lap let's just try and get a nice turn in here nice and tight again it is absolutely 
not too bad this the Fox have it does need a few tweaks there here and there it especially doesn't like the change of direction as you go into this turn down the bottom of here uh, this right hander it uh, didn't like it on the last lap let's see what it's like into this lap let's just try and slow it down slightly oh we counted that a little bit better there we've managed to slow it down a little bit more and we've got a nice tight line there just slowly opening the throttle to drive it down this long straight and we are really pulling away here oh my god this bm is absolutely supreme i am so impressed and i just don't know why i hadn't tested out sooner i've had the bike in the garage for quite a while but I just just uh, because I've been so much on the Aprilia and some of the others I just have needed to use this one but now I'm getting to test it out and I'm absolutely loving what I'm seeing here is absolutely brilliant oh god just caught a slight bit of the curb there uh, but uh, that's okay you didn't get an invalid just got an invalid warning and not a penalty right so just keep it nice and smooth through here we've got a decent gap so hopefully I don't ruin the race as long as we don't crash off we should be okay but this has been a really good start to this video and uh, I'm enjoying this one but uh, you wait till you see the second bike we're going to test out it's one that I've only just bought and it's going to be a brilliant one another R1 category bike and another one we haven't tried out there is only a couple more left to try and this one is going to be one of my uh, favorites I'm pretty sure of that right let's slow it down into here but is it going to be better than the BM though? That's what we're going to find out in today's episode. Now, just finish it off and we take a victory. Now, that BM, even on the default setup, is amazing. And thank you guys for everyone that's messaged to try this bike out. Because there was quite a few. I just uh, didn't get round to it soon enough. Right, now we're going to test out the second bike in today's episode. Another R1 category bike. And I've heard a few good things about this one. So this one could be a surprise package. But until you test it out yourself, you never know. So let's get straight into having a look at this second bike. And it could be a good one, guys. So here we go. And the second bike in today's episode is the Bermota BB3 Bermota UK 2015. Now I've heard a few good things about this one. Uh, that is a really, really good handling bike. Very, very fast. But until I test it out myself, I'm not gonna make any judgment on it. But I will rate both bikes at the end of the video, guys. But again, it's gonna be on the default setup with all the assist turned off. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, I'm going to choose a really difficult circuit for this one, really put it through its uh, paces. But first up, we're going to check out the stats of this bike and then we're going to get into it. So here we go. Right, so here we are with the stats on the Bermota. 9.9 .9 acceleration, 9.8 a braking power, top speed 9.9 .9 and handling 9.7. Oh my dear Lord, guys, those stats are pretty high. And that must be pretty close to the highest stat in this category. I'm not sure if there's one higher. The Aprilia might be higher. But uh, I'm looking forward to this, guys. This one could be really, really good. So let's get straight into the race, guys. So here we go. Right guys, I've chosen this Argentinian circuit for this race, guys, because it's really challenging. And looking at the lineup, all the BMs in there, the uh, Prilia, this could be a challenging race. And it always is in this category uh, on this world tour. So we're going to jump into this race, turn everything off as we always do, and hope for the best. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with this second race on the Bermota BB3. Let's see what this bike's like. Hopefully it is as good as everyone says it is. Right, that's getting a good start. Just keep that front one down. The acceleration is 9.9, so I'm expecting it to fire out the blocks really quick. That's not too bad. Oh, God, a little bit of contact there into that turn. The AI can be very aggressive around this circuit, so we're going to have to be really clever into the corners. And that's not bad. Right, oh, keep that front wheel down. Bloody hell, this thing's got power. And we've managed to control it, but it looks like this one's going to be a really difficult bike to keep the front wheel down, so we're going to have to be careful. Right, use those awesome brakes. So it's got decent braking power, and that was awesome. So it slowed down pretty damn good into that turn. Right, let's see if we can get into this corner really tight. Oh, we managed to dive up inside of two bikes there, and we managed to control it as well. Oh, awesome. So we're up to P4. Right, we've got to chase down the leaders. I think the BM's the bike that's gone out in the lead. I think there's an Aprilia in front. And is that a Yamaha in front? I'm not sure. Right, let's just drive it down the straight. Oh, awesome. And we should, oh, there's the BMW. We've just overtaken the 
BMW trying to hold it into that turn, slow it down, and we've got an Aprilia that's leading the race. Right, God dear, that BMW got back round me. Let's just try and hold it a little bit tighter into this turn. Oh, hesitate there, don't lose it, slow it down. Oh, that wasn't too bad, managed to get away with that. Awesome. Uh, be careful tapping on the power and really trying to keep up with the two in front. That Aprilia is really setting the pace and just trying to hold it around that turn. It's not feeling too bad on the default setup. I'm, I'm just, uh, just trying to work out uh, what the braking's like, how it handles before I can really start uh, trying to push this bike as much as I can and try and get in the lead. But oh God, it's so difficult for you. Here's sparks coming from the bike in front. Oh my dear Lord, around that turn. Right, let's just try and drive up the hill here, slow it down. This is quite a difficult turn. And there's more spots coming from one of the bikes in front. Is that the Aprilia? Right, let's just try to get past him. Oh no, the front wheel went up again. Oh, just trying to tap the power on. Even in that gear, the front wheel still wanted to go up. Right, let's just drive it down the, the, this straight here. Turn it in, try and keep it up with these two in front. There's a right battle going up in front of us. Let's see if we can get amongst that the second lap. And oh god, there's someone hesitate there. Managed to take it there and just got turned straight into second place behind the Aprilia. Right, it's another British rider as well, so let's see if we can give him a bit of competition. Oh, just lost it slightly in that turn and I've lost the position. But uh, these races are so tough on this level, but they're really fun. You've got they, they are really competitive. Oh god, they really pulled away there. I really did lose a bit of speed in that turn. Right, we need to get back on it here. But uh, like I was saying, yeah, the races in this uh, this tour are very, very competitive and so much fun. And I do like this uh, category of bikes, so uh, this is always a good race to do. Right, let's try and get a nice turn here and accelerate. Again, not the quickest out of the turn. And the Aprilia is really trying to pull away here. I've got to react on this lap. Right, get a nice turn here and open the throttle and power. Oh my God, as soon as you get into full fifth gear, this thing really does tug. And uh, look at the speed. Oh no, I've gone too fast. I'm going to overrun it. Brake, 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 brake. Oh my God, almost went straight into the wall, but I managed to save it there. But I've got, and I managed to hold second place as well. Just slow it down. Don't make any more contacts. I did knock the other rider off, so that's okay. Almost went straight into the Aprilia there. Oh my God, this is a battle here. And I think uh, the Honda's going to get back around the outside of me there. So we've got to try and hold it into this turn and just nick that position back and drive it down the hill. Yes, we're managing to hold second. Oh, no, I think it's going to come around the outside again. Right, slow it into this slow turn. Oh, God, the pretty went straight onto the curb there, but he managed to control it well. And I'm into second place here, and we're going towards the final lap. Am I going to be able to win this race? I'm not sure, because I'm really struggling to... Uh, to tame the power on this motor it is so powerful really struggling to keep that front wheel down right to try and drive it up the hill here and try and get a nice smooth line through this section flip it over drive it down the hill and we need to get a bit closer to that Aprilia if we want to win this race but we managed to pull away from the others which is awesome so it's, so it's just down to us two to who's going to win this race but it's going to be a tough battle Ooh, more spots coming from the Aprilia there as he turned into that corner there oh my god that bike has showed so many sparks in the turns let's try and get a nice line through here no he's going to cut in tight there so it couldn't get past right let's just try and hold a little bit wider here and then just get behind him use his slipstream can we drive and get past him in this uh, straight i'm not sure let's get his slipstream again no he's got the pretty so goddamn quick Right, let's just try and slow it down. Let's go a little bit wider here so we don't go into him around this turn. Slow it down. Oh, and the Aprilia dive back in the lead. And again, that front wheel's gone up as I try to drive it down the hill. Right, slow it into this turn. Let's try and get nice and smooth through here. We know the Aprilia's really quick through here. Now try and get back behind him. And again, the Aprilia's pulling away so fast. This is where you, you realise you have to... Uh, play with the gear ratio to get it a little bit better because the other bikes in this game do seem to accelerate out the turns really quick but we've got a good drive along that straight and we've used the awesome power of the motor and we're back in the lead and that's the fastest uh, split point there as well so we've got, gained a bit of time to run it a lot quicker at least we didn't run it off the circuit there but we've got to hold it nice and smooth into this turn run the last lap we can't afford any mistakes here Right, oh god, just hesitated there. Oh, I think the Aprilia's gonna get past. Almost lost the back end there. 
but the Aprilia didn't have enough power to get past us there, and he's just made another tap there. It's really pressuring me here. He's let me know that he doesn't want me to win the race, so it's just got to be really good into the slow turn, and maybe we can just try and get a good line through the next couple of corners and pull away, but it's not going to be easy. The Aprilia is so good. The handling on that is pretty good, and he's dived up the inside, and he almost took me off as well, and he's going to take a better line up the hill. Let's try and go on the outside and drive up the hill. No, the front wheels go back up. That's going to cost us a bit of speed. Let's dive up the inside. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And drive. Oh, my God. Is he going to take my back wheel? No, I managed to get away from him. Oh, my God. How close is this last lap? What a battle we've had here in this second race. Right. I've only got a couple of more corners to go. And we should be able to take the victory as long as that Aprilia doesn't get up the inside. Right. Get a nice turn onto the apex here. And accelerate. He's right behind me. Is he going to beat me to the line? It's going to be so close. Oh, my God. I can't make any mistakes. He's so, so close. And over the line. Are we going to do it? Yes, we did it. What a race, guys. Awesome. One of the best races I've had on an R1 category bike. So neck and neck. That uh, pretty pushed me all the way. But luckily, just on that last section, I managed to tame the power of that Bermota. God, that bike is so goddamn powerful. Right, we're going to get into a rating of both bikes now, guys. And I think you probably know which one I'm going to rate higher. But uh, let's get straight into it anyway. So here we go. What a experience I've had in today's episode. Both bikes are absolutely supreme. And looking at the stats, uh, there is slight differences, but not a lot. Now, I'm going to rate these bikes both very, very highly. I'm going to give the BMW, on, I'm basing this on default setups, guys, because you can make these better if you tweak the setups. I'm going to give the BMW a 9 out of 10, and I'm going to give the Vermota a 10 out of 10. That bike is superb, powerful, fast, and I think with the setup, it's going to be unbeatable. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please give me a big thumbs up, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.